what I'm gonna share with you throughout this video has generated me well over a million dollars and it's also the same steps that every millionaire agency owner that I know has gone through as well. Hey guys, it is Lawrence here and in today's video, what I wanna do is share with you what I would do if I had to start all over again and generate 10K per month with a SMA agency. Most just don't, they just don't know about it or they just don't contextualize it. They don't think about it properly. And it's a relatively straightforward process, but getting to 10K a month can be a life-changing amount of money. Not because it's the most money in the world, but if you're working a job earning two, three, 4K, 5K a month, and it's something that you really hate doing, and then you're able to be your own boss, work with a few clients, work ultimately kind of part-time if you're just generating 10K a month, and live life on your own terms. Although the money isn't life-changing, the shift that you've done is life-changing. So it's definitely worth sticking around for and watching this video. The reason I'm creating this video is because we get asked an awful lot, like from people that are just starting out, how do I sign my first few clients, all the way to very established agency owners that might be doing you know, multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month, but they don't know how to generate clients through outreach. That's where every new agency should start with outreach. And so the first thing that I think you should do is to understand what your goals are, because doing something new for the first time is always going to be difficult. You're going to face some form of resistance, like internally, and being able to remind yourself why you're doing what you're doing is going to make sure that you stick the course, basically, that you stay and you continue doing the things that you probably don't want to do, but are necessary to get to that goal. So understanding why you're doing it is going to get you up and get you out of bed in the morning, ultimately. So I would start off by creating a clear goal and the clearer your goal and your vision and the reason why you're doing it, the more likely you are to actually achieve that. Once you've got your goal in place, you've then got to pick a niche. You've got to understand who you're going to be targeting. And if you try and target everybody, it puts you at a disadvantage because not only do you not resonate with your ideal market, you try and like attract everybody, you're going to end up resonating with nobody. But also it makes your life an awful lot more difficult because there's so many people to go after, you don't know who to, who to target, where to focus your time and your energy. And at this point in your agency, time and energy is what you've got more than maybe financial investment. So you can invest your time and your energy. And so it's important that we invest that time and energy wisely. And so by picking a niche, picking an industry and making all of your messaging and all of your marketing around that, then that's going to be the best use of your time. So once you've got your goal, you've got your niche, the next thing I would do is start sending out DMs. I would find out where your ideal audience is hanging around, whether that is Facebook groups, whether that is school groups, um, skoll.com, if you're unfamiliar with what school is, it's like Facebook groups, but a little bit better. Find out where your, where your prospects are spending their time, basically. Then what you want to do is you want to reach out to them. But here's, what, here's where people go, go wrong is they reach out to people, they might see some results, they might not, and then they basically, like, that's all ultimately as good as it gets. The only way that you're going to progress is by testing lots of variations of your, your messaging. So constantly test variations to see what your market, what your prospects are actually wanting to hear. Because you can sit down with a blank sheet of paper in front of you and think and create ideas around what's going to work. But ultimately, the only the only way of knowing is by testing. And what happens is people don't test enough. They assume that DMs don't work, for example, or DMs don't work for my, my industry. They don't respond to DMs. Well, how many DMs did you send? How many variations of the DM did you create? And that's where most people go wrong. They either send the same DM too many times, 
or they don't send enough variations, or they don't do a combination of both. What I strongly advise that you do, and this is what I went through, is what I did, is to test variations of your DM and then to track it basically. One mistake we see is that people don't test enough and then they don't track it properly. And only by testing and tracking can you see what starts to work. And you just need to start to get a little bit of momentum. And once you get that momentum, what you're then going to be able to do is you're going to be able to take what is somewhat of a proven message and start sending out cold emails. So you don't even necessarily need to sign clients, but you need to generate some sales calls through, through DMs. And then once you've got a, a more proven message, you can then start to scale up your outreach by using cold email. Now, cold email does cost. So you might want to sign a couple of clients or one client through DMs, whether that's Facebook, whether that's school. But you don't necessarily have to. You can if you want, but you don't need to. You do need to generate some sales calls. But the reason that it's important that you get to cold emails as quickly as possible is because it allows you to test and track at a greater scale. It allows you to gather feedback quicker about what your market actually wants. And where we see so many people go wrong is they try and they try and basically force what they have on their market. But if you're wanting to start, you're in such a great position because instead of having something that you need to sell, you can find out what your audience wants and then and then sell it to them. And it makes it so much easier. All these kind of more established agencies, they sometimes they come to us and they say, right, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do the other. I want to generate more sales calls basically through cold audiences. And they're trying to put something into a market that the market doesn't want. And it's so much easier to just figure out what the market wants and give them that thing. And you're in a great position because you're able to do that. So the quicker you can get to cold emails, the better, because you're able to test at a greater scale and then track and then learn and learn, 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 learn. And like even today after sending, I to be honest, I don't know, well over a million emails, we still track everything. We still test lots of different things. It's constantly evolving. You're never going to find something that works and works forever. You will find something that works and it will work for a period of time and then it will start to deteriorate and you need to tweak and you need to change things. You need to test things. And the only way you can do all of this stuff is by tracking properly. And it's this boring stuff that people don't want to do that actually makes you successful. So if you're struggling with cold outreach, how detailed is your tracking is a question you've got to ask yourself. Another thing that you can do that I would recommend if you've got the right audience, not every audience is going to be right for this. If people aren't wanting to get on a sales call with you, a kind of lower level commitment is to try and get them to join your free group. Um, and you can do this group inside Facebook, you can do it inside school. And what that does is it allows you to slowly build up an audience. One of my regrets in business is not starting a kind of long term, a long term plan earlier on. Content creation, for example, it's a it's a long term play. It's a great way to build an audience, but it does take time. And I just wish I did this created YouTube videos for you guys a lot earlier on in my journey. And a great way to do this for you starting out is to start a free group, invite your prospects to your group, provide value over time, build up that audience, and then you'll be able to take people from that free group onto a sales call and into a paying client. That's basically what I would do just to recap. It's first of all, it's understand your goal. So that you actually, when you wake up in the morning, you're motivated to go and do the things that need to be done. Pick a niche and then send out DMs. Track and test everything. And then you want to graduate to cold emails where you can do both testing and tracking at a greater scale. Create a free group inside Facebook or school to create a community and kind of work that audience inside your community to get them onto a sales call and turn them into a paying client. As I said, this is 
a variation of both what I've done and what I would do now if I had to start again from scratch to get to 10K per month. I hope it serves you well. I hope you've got some, some value from this video. Now, if you want to find out how we can help you, maybe you're more of an established agency owner and you're generating your clients through word of mouth and your network and you don't have full control over the growth of your business and you want to start implementing outreach to be able to create consistency or maybe some paid ads then you can book a call by clicking the link in the description it'll um take you to a quick video that'll explain exactly like what we do who we do it for who we can work with, who we can't work with. So if you check that video out and if you think that it's going to be of interest, then you can book in a call. And yeah, I hope this video has been useful. If you've got any questions about any of this, just write a comment inside um, underneath this video and I'll, uh, I'll reply to those personally. And yeah, that's pretty much it from me. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.